The Presidential Citizens Medal recipients, Jocelyn Benson. Jocelyn Benson was elected twice by the people of Michigan as their Secretary of State, where she continues her steadfast commitment to protect the right to vote and the integrity of our elections in the state of Michigan. In 2020, she administered an election with record turnout and certified the results in the face of unprecedented pressure and threats, including armed protesters outside her home. We the people honor the undaunted and unflinching Michigan Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson, who continues her exemplary public service to advance free and fair elections in our nation. <clears throat> Russell Bowers. An artist, rancher, and fourth-generation Arizonan, Rusty Bowers represented the people of Arizona for almost two decades, rising to become Speaker of the House. In a dire hour of our democracy, he put country before party by refusing attempts to decertify the 2020 election and overturn the will of the people. He endured menacing protests, including at his home, and eventually lost an election because of his courageous actions. We the people honor Rusty Bowers, a public servant guided by a deep faith and unbreakable oath to God, family, and country. Harry Dunn. A champion college football lineman, Harry Dunn has put his protective instincts to a higher purpose as a U.S. Capitol Police officer. On January 6, 2021, he rushed to protect injured fellow officers fighting back insurrectionists. His powerful testimony describing violence and stinging racism laid bare the day's facts for history. And his advocacy on behalf of officers battling lasting trauma is helping to ease the stigma around mental health in our nation. For defending the citadel of our democracy and for seeking truth and healing, we the people honor US Capitol Police Private First Class Harry A. Dunn. Caroline Edwards. The granddaughter of proud military veterans, Caroline Edwards left a corporate career to follow in their footsteps, serving our nation. On January 6, 2021, she helped stop advancing insurrectionists, even after being knocked unconscious in the mob's first brutal surge. She has also fought for colleagues as a police union board member and peer counselor, and her congressional testimony will help ensure their valor is never forgotten. For her courageous defense of our democracy and service to fellow officers, we the people honor U.S. Capitol Police Officer Caroline Edwards. Michael Fanon. The grandson of a police officer, Michael Fanon was born to protect and serve. A decorated narcotics investigator, he took an off-duty call to the Capitol on January 6, 2021, helping to derive 
insurrectionists away from a key tunnel and facing vicious attack. He immediately became one of the day's most outspoken truth seekers. For his absolute courage in protecting the capital and our democracy, and his tenacious search for accountability, we the people honor former Metropolitan Police Department officer Michael Fanon. Ruby Freeman. Inspired by the voting rights legacy of her beloved Atlanta, Lady Ruby Freeman viewed her civic duty as a Fulton County election worker, as a sacred mission to ensure the people of Georgia could exercise their fundamental right to vote freely and fairly. In the 2020 election, she upheld that sacred mission despite an orchestrated campaign to overturn the election and that targeted and threatened her and her family. To the nation, she bore witness of the trauma and tragedy of that experience. And today, we the people honor Lady Ruby Freeman as part of our nation's voting rights history. Akalino Ganell. As a child, Akalina Ganell immigrated to America from the Dominican Republic. He became the first in his family to graduate college, serving in the U.S. Army and then in the U.S. Capitol Police. On January 6, 2021, he courageously stood firm at the doors of the Capitol as insurrectionists stormed the entrance, sustaining serious injuries as he protected members of Congress and defended our democracy. He later testified publicly to ensure our nation and history never forget. For patriotism that puts love of country before self, we the people on our U.S. Capitol Police Sergeant Akalino A. Ganell. Eugene Goodman. An Army combat veteran and a U.S. Capitol Police officer, Eugene Goodman embodies fearless public service. In the breach on January 6, 2021, he made himself a target to divert insurrectionists away from the Senate chamber, enabling the former Vice President lawmakers, and staff to escape safely. In the face of a clear and present danger, he did his duty and he did not flinch. For his valor and for ensuring the constitutional order, we the people honor U.S. Capitol Police Officer Eugene Goodman. Daniel Hodges. A Virginia National Guardsman and Metropolitan Police Department officer, Daniel Hodges has dedicated his life to serving his community and our nation. On January 6, 2021, he fought to push surging insurrectionists away from a key tunnel into the Capitol returning to the line even after being brutally crushed and beaten. His courageous testimony will help ensure that we never forget or let such an attack happen again. For his heroism and unwavering commitment to the truth, we the people honor Metropolitan Police Department Officer Daniel Hodges.
Dr. Serena Leibengood, accepting on behalf of Howard Leibengood. The proud son of a U.S. Senate Sergeant at Arms, Howard Leibengood left a career as a champion race car driver to follow in his late father's footsteps, protecting the democratic institutions they both revered. He died after battling insurrectionists at the Capitol and staying on to restore security in the crucial days after January 6th. His painful loss helped change the law to better honor the unimaginable sacrifice that too many officers and their families face. For his deep dedication and selfless service, we the people honor U.S. Capitol Police Officer Howard C. Leibengood. Andrea Arche Moss. <laughs> Inspired by the stories her mother told her about the movement for voting rights in America, Shea Moss pursued a career as an election worker in Fulton County, Georgia. Because of her dedicated service, she faced death threats, harassment, and intimidation by those seeking to overturn the outcome of the 2020 election. She would later testify to the nation about her pain and resolve. Today, we the people honor Shea Moss for helping to ensure the American people have a voice in the destiny of our nation. Albert Schmidt. A former federal civil servant and the city commissioner of Philadelphia, Albert Schmidt has spent his career on the unsung yet necessary task of making democracy work for the people. In the 2020 election, despite intense political pressure, he did what he had always done, ensured the integrity of the election, and faithfully oversaw the nonpartisan counting of the ballots. We the people honor Albert Schmidt for his clarity of purpose to protect every American's sacred right to vote and to have that vote counted. Charles and Gladys Sicknick, accepting on behalf of Brian D. Sicknick. A New Jersey Air National Guardsman who served two tours overseas, Brian Sicknick was a U.S. Capitol Police officer devoted to serving our nation. For over a decade, he guarded the Capitol, including on January 6, 2021. He lost his life protecting our elected representatives, upholding the will of the American people, and defending our Constitution. His heroism, courage, and character set an example for generations of Americans to come and will never be forgotten. For his service and his ultimate sacrifice, we the people honor U.S. Capitol Police Officer Brian D. Sicknick. Aaron Smith, accepting on behalf of Jeffrey L. Smith. A 12-year veteran of the Metropolitan Police Department, Officer Jeffrey Smith dedicated his life to public service. On January 6, 2021, as he fought the violent mob, Officer Smith sustained devastating head injuries 
from multiple assaults inside and outside the Capitol. He died after protecting Congress, guarding the Capitol, and preserving our democracy. His passing sparked changes in the law that honor the silent injuries of our fallen officers. For his extraordinary heroism, pure courage, and unwavering devotion to the nation, we the people honor Metropolitan Police Department Officer Jeffrey L. Smith.